Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan video. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and make a fun video since there's no content until worldwide, I guess. Um, so this will be more of a filler video. If you are new, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you like, would like more videos like this in the future, let me know. I decided to go and make a EZA for Broly and Trunks because I feel like this unit's really cool. And we just did a video on them yesterday because it's one should be scheduled for the day after. Uh, and I was like, you know what? They did decent in the showcase. Let me easy A them to show you how I would do it and see what you guys think. So Broly and Trunks. Um, super attack is attack and defense for, uh, raises attack and defense for one turn. So it's a 30% raise. Um, and then their ultra super is raises attack and defense for one turn, causes me mega colossal damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense. So it's a 30% raise, a 50% lower. Um, their passive, a battle that took place in another world. Key plus four, attack and defense plus 100%. Randomly changes key type key spheres to uh, rainbow keys uh, sphere when in slot one or three at the start of the turn. So whenever they come back to that rotation, I think it's whenever if they're if they're in one one or three, they have a random chance of doing it. I think, uh, and additional key plus two per rainbow key if, uh, obtained. Additional key attack plus twenty percent per rainbow key obtained. Uh, launches an additional attack, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, high chance to perform a critical hit. An additional attack and defense plus thirty forty percent when launching a super attack. Uh, attack and defense 31 per, uh, percent and damage reduction rate plus eight percent for each super attack performed during that turn of course they have a active skill two key plus 20 attack plus 60 percent attacks will connect with the enemy for one turn active uh, the condition is 40 percent or lower or from the sixth turn i think that's fine as an active skill um they don't really change active skills anyway so there's no point of even looking at it same thing with stats i, I I don't even know how to go about doing stats, but I did want to make them a new passive and change their super attack effects or add on to the super uh, attack effects. Now this easy that I gave them is probably not a realistic one because it's probably too good. However, I could be optimistic. I didn't go over and I didn't go like above and beyond too much. I just did the things that made the most sense for this unit with how their design is. So let's go ahead and jump over to that. Oh, this is going to be a little weird. Um, <laughs> it's not the best quality because whatever reason. Anyway, so here they are. They're, they're easy. A whoop whoop. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's talk about what I've changed. So for the most part, I just made it to their, where their 12 key is going to raise their attack and defense for two turns. And that was it. Instead of a one turn raise, it's a two turn raise for their 12 key. Um, I just feel like it'd be very helpful in some fights to be able to, you know, have that extra turn of safety. Uh, for their Ultra Super, this one got changed a bit. It greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes medical colossal damage to the enemy, greatly lowers the defense. So I just decided to screw it. I'll just give them a 50% raise on attack and defense. This, I don't know if they're going to change their super attack effects from uh, this. It's, I, I feel like they should at least. Like, knowing them, they'll, they'll greatly raise attack, but leave the defense there, which would be so stupid. This is greatly raise both. Um, or raise the defense. I would prefer the defense over the attack. Once again, they're free to play in it, so, like, I want them to be better defensively, if I'm being honest. Um, their passive skill. I didn't really change it too much. I just tacked on what I thought made the most sense. Key plus four, attack and defense plus 150. So, realistically speaking, I'm only giving a 50% raise because it just makes sense. I didn't want to go above and beyond, um, like, to 170 because I feel like that's, like, actual, like, summonable unit status, but I did want to raise it enough to where it would be impactful for their start of turn at the bare minimum. Randomly changes uh, a type key sphere to into rainbow key sphere when in slot one or slot three at the start of turn. Kept it the same. An additional key plus two per rainbow key sphere obtained. Kept that the same. An additional attack and defense 25% per rainbow key sphere obtained. This is different. What I did was uh, over here, they just had attack raise up 20% per rainbow key sphere. Now it's very, very possible they keep the percentages the same and just add defense onto this, uh, which is still very good. I think even if they did it 5% raise and gave it a attack and defense raise, that's better than 
not having the defense. Like, once again, when I look at this unit, I want them to be more defensively sound. I feel like their attacks are fine. So, for me personally, I'd, I'd just, even if it is just going to say at 20%, add defense to this line. That way, it's they're more safe, right? It's my opinion. Um, okay, so launches then just two additional attacks which have a high chance of becoming a super attack. Um, this was a medium chance. I changed the high chance. It just makes sense to make it a high chance. High chance of to perform a critical hit. It's the same thing as it always was. An additional attack and defense 40% when launching a, uh, a super attack. I think that's the same. Uh, yeah, this is still the same. I did not add that. Um, and then we have attack and defense 31% and damage reduction. Great. Plus 10% for each super attack performed during that turn. I raised it from 8 to 10 and left it alone at the attack and defense. Like, it's possible they raise the attack and defense to like 35% or something. But I, I I just would rather than just, you know, focus on the damage reduction as well. So it'd be like a 2% raise. It wouldn't be a very big raise, I don't think. I mean, it could be, but like, it's hard to say. Their EZAs are very inconsistent with their with their power creeps. So I don't know. I feel like right now this would be enough to make me be like, yeah, that's pretty good. So personally, a 2% raise in the damage reduction is fine. They could keep it the same too, um, which is possible. They might not even change this, but like, I, I figured why I was just tack on 2% more damage reduction, because why not? And then that would be it for this, right? That's their last passive or, or passive. However, I went a little bit further and beyond to make sure that they were sounded off to be at least consistent when you're using them and i added this one line because i feel like it'd be very cool if they just added this one line in particular launch an additional super attack when two or more rainbow key spheres are attained this makes it to where instead of doing the first guaranteed and doing two additionals and then you could proc the hidden potential so potentially four supers to five it's a guarantee you or give you close to five supers so they are looking more like broly now with this um now is this too strong for them? Probably. Am I? Do I think they're gonna add the uh, a guaranteed additional with the Rainbow Key Sphere? No. I would love it, but I don't think they're gonna add it. I think it'd be very good for them for the long term of things, like in the aging process. It'd be good for the long term and like the road ahead. But like we don't know when these guys are easy aing, so this might not even be strong enough whenever it is their time to easy a. They might easy a next year. Would this be strong enough next year? I don't think so. What is it strong enough now? Yes, but is it strong enough next year? I don't honestly know. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, and then I left everything else alone because I feel like it's fine. But this would be something like ideal, I think, in the direction where I would like to see them go. This is not exactly like a one for one. Like I don't want them to just copy and paste it because obviously they could definitely make a better unit than this. This is just me looking at them at a base and be like, how would I improve upon them? And this is how where I would start. So. But yeah, guys, it's going to be pretty much it for the video. Um, I just wanted to have fun, have a little bit of a creativity and see what I can do with these guys with like how I would change them. Now, once again, we don't know when they're going to get their easy A. It's, it's not like it's set in stone. Like this, this unit is still relatively newish. Like when it's easy A, I don't know. It's an OG story unit. It could easy A literally any time now. Um, whenever they feel like it. Um, I just hope when they EZA, they really consider what this unit needs, what this unit is struggling with, and, you know, play test the unit before they release it, because while this unit could be very good, it could also be a fumbled unit, too. They could do very minimum changes, just give them a stat raise and leave everything alone. This could go to, like, 120. Like, I don't know. Like, there could be... It could be a terrible EZA, and I don't want it to be, because they have good animations. I feel like they put a lot of quality work into their super attack and the animations. I feel like they should just be a good unit because why waste money on something that you're never going to see or have people use right i feel like easy a's for free to play units or free to play units in general should just be slightly worse than summonable units but still like relatively good right it's still usable on a lot of content um so hopefully these guys get the love they deserve because i think this unit's really cool and i would like to see more units like this in the future but only if they're going to be usable and like most of the content in the game, right? I just want this unit to be usable, and the only way this unit is going to be usable is if they easy and actually get like defensively set to take on supers after they super, right? I don't expect them to be a slot one unit. 
I expect them to be more slot two, slot three unit, but at the end of the day, that's all that really matters um, to me is if they can do slot two, slot three, right? And if they can do that, that's awesome. That's that's fantastic. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Holy and Trunks, and what would you like to see them add on to this unit for flavor for their easy A. Let me know in the comments below if I missed something important that you would give them, maybe. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And that is the video. Talk to you later. Peace.